do you deal with writer's block? I don't deal with it. I close my laptop and I kindly start the next day. <laughs> no, seriously, I never wait to the last minute to do my assignments because like if I get writer's block and assignments due in an hour, there's writer's block can't happen. You have to make a way. So instead what I do is I try to start my assignments like, especially if I know it's gonna be like a 10 page paper, try to start on it two weeks ahead so I can fumble with it. Do maybe two pages, two weeks ahead, and then when that week comes that it's due, do two more pages at the beginning of the week and then three days before it's due, finish it off. Or maybe I'll find my sources three weeks ahead and not start the essay until a week later. So I just don't let it pile up on me. I do not, I try at least not to procrastinate because procrastination can be like the devil, like make your grades go from A's to D's quick just because you forgot another thing about forgetting procrastination go ahead and find you some type of way whether it's a planner I usually keep me a planner to keep track of what you have going on events when are assignments to do when your next test is coming up when is the other essay due so I usually keep all types of planners all types of planners in my backpack in my purse around the house and I also have a two month dry erase calendar on my wall in my bedroom. Just so when I wake up, I can have a constant reminder of what I have coming up tomorrow. What's next week? When that test is? When that assignment's due? Do I have to go back home to get my braces tightened? Just what's going on. So that's really important. Ways to stay organized. Keep those composition books. I did notice that people go to college and feel like, I don't have to go school supply shopping anymore. Eh, no, that's wrong. Go get those school supplies. Go get some folders. Go get some binders. Stay organized. Promise you, in the end, you will not regret it. The next question is, how did you budget in college? So, when I first went to college, I was horrible at budgeting because I just knew my parents were paying my bills. I knew my money could use be used for shopping. I don't cook, eat out every day. So honestly, when I first left for college, I was the worst person to be able to give budgeting advice. Now, I'm a little better. I still eat out every day. Sometimes it's healthy, but I'm just not a cooking person. So I have to budget my money around me eating out every day, which is very unfortunate. But I budget my money to where I can still go get Chick-fil-A and Zaxby's every day. Um, no, seriously though, um, I had a lot of help in college, thankfully. I didn't have too much of a financial burden to worry about, which I thank God for. So I didn't have too many concerns with budgeting, but just to make sure I could still have gas, food, um, buy some clothes, keep my nails and hair done, I did have to find a way to manage my money. Um, I actually took care of the serious responsibilities first, always took my car with gas, Make sure um, my car maintenance is good. Um, I was responsible for paying my braces bill, which was usually $200 per month. So things like that. Make sure you take care of all your responsibilities first. And any extra money, try to put up. Save a little. Um, as much as I did not have that many financial responsibilities, I did not save a lot in college. And that's something I do regret. I feel like I could have saved a bit more. Um, even if it was $5 a week, it would have took me a long way. And I did not save a lot. I did save a little, but it's not going to do much for me. Because I did not do it consistently. So, that's something I would have changed. Last question is, how was your overall college experience? Overall, I loved college. Um, definitely wish I would have joined more orgs. Definitely wish I would have participated in more campus events. Um, but I did love my college experience. And I will say thank you, Florida State University, for such a great college experience with the criminology program. Great advisors, um, great professors, great classes, very interesting topics, great major. Okay, so after answering the questions that my followers presented me with, I feel like we covered a lot of college tips. We talked about how to stay organized. We talked about budgeting. 
limiting yourself to how many people you choose to associate with, where you choose to associate them with, um, partying. Um, a lot of stuff we covered through the questions. I hope I was able to answer you guys' questions properly, correctly. Um, like I said, I am open to personally having conversations, DMs, comments. I love to answer your questions. I want to add on though, that it's important to set some goals. Um, if that means you have to go get a poster from the dollar store and write down your goals just to physically see them every day, then that's what it takes. You need to make sure you have a set of goals that you're trying to accomplish. It gives you a drive every day. It makes you remember, I can't do this bad thing because then those goals on that chart won't get done. Um, some people make vision boards. Myself, I made a vision board about a year ago and vision boards aren't just for things that you want to do that's fun. Like I know people put on vision boards, oh, I want to have a baby and I want to go shopping, I want to go jet skiing, things you haven't done before, but it's not just for that. Vision boards can be used in, as within this year time span, I want to complete the following things. And you can use images, words, magazine pictures, um, self-portraits, just some form of motivation to remind you within this time frame, I need to complete these things on this board. So like I said, just to give you yourself that self-drive, that constant reminder that I ain't got time to play. If certain things I can't do with certain people, I can't hang around because then that will distract me from my goals being accomplished. And we don't have time for that. Remember what you're at college for. You're at college to get that degree. Yes, everything else is cool too. Making new friends, maybe finding your husband, your your sweetheart, your boo. I didn't do that. But that comes with it too. But the main reason you chose to go to college, keep that in mind. That can be at the top of your vision board. Um, if it, Like I said, there's anything I did not cover besides staying organized, um, budgeting, setting goals, um, getting the amount of proper rest, finding a way to escape, you, finding a way to relax. I talked about all of that. And if I didn't go into enough detail for you and you want specifics, reach out. More than welcome to help give any advice that I can offer. Anything I can't speak on too much about, I'm going to try to make up. So I hope this video was some help to you guys. And eventually I will have a college tips part two as I do plan on going to grad school and law school. But this is just the undergrad experience college tips for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you next time.